Welcome to Stat for Experimenters 2, Stat 5023. I'm your guide, your teacher, Oli Forsberg, and this ends my sixth year at Oklahoma State University. And during the course of this course, see the little wordplay I did there? I will be moving from Stillwater, Oklahoma to Galesburg, Illinois. So just as you are taking this course elsewhere, I'm teaching it elsewhere. So this should be very exciting. Now, Stat 5023 is all about the dependent variable that's numeric and the independent variable or variables that are categorical. If your research fits under this realm, then this is the course for you. Dependent variable numeric, it's a measurement of something. Independent variable is categorical. Whether it's nominal or ordinal, we're going to figure out some ways of handling this experimental setup. One of the most important things for you to get out of this course is understanding the basic terminology. It's not easy. There's a lot of terms that you'll be using. You'll learn about completely randomized designs. You'll learn about block designs. You'll learn about one-way analysis of variance, three-way analysis of variance, interactions, additive models. The list goes on. Keep a list, write down every new term and its definition, and learn that list. You will thank me for it. Because when you get to the midterm and the final exam, and I use that vocabulary, you want to know what it is without having to think deeply about it. The course is broadly based and in, uh, grouped into two parts. The first part is before the midterm. Thankfully, the second part is after. In this first part, we're going to look at fixed effects and only fixed effects. We're going to cover one-way analysis of variance, two-way analysis of variance, three-way analysis of variance, all of it under the realm of the completely randomized design. The first module is going to cover the mathematics behind one-way analysis of variance. And then, through later modules, we'll look at the assumptions under the girding one-way analysis of variance. We'll look at actually answering questions that are interesting to us, such as, okay, we've detected a difference in the effect between two different levels, but what is that effect? And we'll be able to answer questions that we have before we start the analysis and questions that the analysis itself raises. And then we'll get into two-way analysis of variance and three-way analysis of variance and show that it's just an extension of the one-way, where everything we learned about one-way analysis of variance will be applicable to two-way and three-way. And then the midterm hits. After the midterm, we'll add in something called a random effect. Now, random effects are completely different from fixed effects, except that they're not. What makes a variable a random effect versus a fixed effect is you, the researcher, and what you want out of that variable. After midterm, we're going to learn a lot of more complicated research designs. Not just the completely randomized design that we focused on in the first half, but things such as nested designs. And then the final. And then you'll sit back and realize, wow, in these four short weeks, and they are very short weeks, I learned a lot. And this is really applicable to where I want to be in 10 years. Whether you are the agricultural person, or the animal person, or the business person. The techniques you learn here are going to be very worthy, worthy additions to your toolbox. So sit back, relax, and dig right into this stuff, because this is the fun stuff.